<laughs> Great stuff. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. It's Chris from Broken Oz Boxing YouTube channel. White Povetkin 2, fantastic rematch. I think White boxes a lot more cautiously this time. I think Povetkin having COVID will have negatively affected his training and it might have an effect on his stamina in the fight. I predict a White TKO victory. Hi guys, Scott here from Southwest Boxing Media here. Um, my prediction for White Povetkin, I think, uh, as many other people have said already, most probably, that this is a must-win fight for White. I think he's got no choice uh, but to win. Um, where does his career go if he doesn't? So I think that, bearing that in mind, he has to get it done, and he will get it done, and I think he will stop Povetkin. I do think it will start as quite a cagey affair, um, Bear in mind what happened last time. But I think, uh, get the sort of the mid rounds, I think White would have got to him. And I think White will stop him. If it does go to the last rounds, I think it will super Vekin. Um, I think Dillian can gas sometimes. So I would say, all in all, Dillian might knock out round six to eight. Hi guys, Dave here from Boxing First and my prediction for this weekend's much hyped rematch between Dillian White and Alexander Povetkin. I think we can certainly say the fight is not going the distance. I will be very, very surprised if we go to the judges' scorecards. But who will come out on top? In my opinion, the changes that Dillian White needs to make to ensure that he can beat Povetkin are too vast. This is an AJ going back in, in with Ruiz where he completely changed his style. Dillian White's not capable of that. He's going to end up in a dogfight with Povetkin and that's where Povetkin will prevail. It's a close one. Certainly Dillian White does have a chance. He's shown in the first fight he dropped Povetkin heavily. But I just think Povetkin can always recover. He's shown against Davy Price. He's a great fighter and I think he'll win on the night. Good luck to both men and hopefully we get another war. Hi, it's Joel from JG's Fight Talk. Um, yeah, massive fight this weekend between Dillian White and Alexander Povetkin. Uh, obviously, looking at the first fight, uh, well, uh, White dictated the pace, uh, worked the jab really well, got a few knockdowns, and he looked like he was on for a victory before uh, Povetkin landed an absolute, absolute diamond of a shot. Um, yeah, looking forward to this weekend. I think. Dillian's, you know, going to have his work cut out again. You can't write off Povetkin, but I reckon he'll get the job done um, within sort of round six, round seven. So. Boxing Lowdown here, and this is my official prediction for Alexander Povetkin and Dillian White 2 taking place this weekend. Now, the first fight had an unbelievable ending, man. Uh, Dillian White in control, knocking Povetkin down twice, looking like he was going to win the fight. And then in the fifth round, we saw that beautiful left hook come up a cut from Povetkin, which knocked Dillian White's spark out. And um, yeah, it really does set the intrigue for the rematch. Now, will Dillian White have the ghosts from the past in his mind going into this fight? I'm sure he will. It was a tremendous knockout. He was in control and then all of a sudden you're flat on your back. There's no doubt that that's going to be crossing through your mind. But he was winning up until that point. He was looking very good doing it. Povetkin looked like an old man up until that knockout. And I think that Dillian White will correct it. I think that he'll get the revenge over Povetkin in a hard-fought battle. I think Povetkin will bring it, but I'm going for Dillian White in this one. I think that he'll take Povetkin out probably late, maybe around seven or eight. He might have to overcome a scare himself, but I reckon that he'll get the job done on Saturday and put himself back into contention for uh, the WBC number one contender spot. So that's my official prediction. I reckon it'll be a good fight, but I've got Dillian White taking it late. Let me know what you guys think about it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to Simbox for all the great content.